Education has seen big changes in the last few years in Indiana. Vouchers, teacher evaluations, fully funding kindergarten. The current head of education says more changes are needed. His challenger in November's election says changes of a different kind are what the state needs. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Bennett gave his third State of Education address Tuesday evening in Indianapolis. He highlighted the achievements of his last four years in office, higher ISTEP scores, more diplomas, the new third grade reading assessment test. We've set high expectations for students and we've set high expectations for the adults helping them succeed. And we're holding everyone accountable for results. Bennett also spoke on the things he would do with a second term, continuing to improve graduation rates, giving school districts more flexibility with what they spend money on, and expanding pre-K opportunities. But perhaps the biggest piece is making districts accountable for their decisions, not just teachers and students. It's become clear that underperformance is often systemic, with problems rooted in district-level leadership. To make a greater impact on student performance where it's most desperately needed, Indiana should begin to explore expanding accountability to the district level. But his opponent, Lafayette native Glenda Ritz, says the current system needs to be overhauled because with so many mandatory tests, districts and teachers are forced to teach to the test. She says what's needed are simple diagnostic measures to show individual growth. A fourth grade teacher needs to know that they have sixth grade readers, fourth grade readers, and second grade readers so that they can provide the proper resources and materials. We actually need that kind of information K-12. Ritz is also against the A to F grading system for schools and school districts, which she says doesn't give an accurate picture of schools. She also opposes privatizing schools, whether it's the state taking over failing schools, spending tax dollars on charter schools, or vouchers. All of them are giving money, taking money away from public schools and giving them to either for-profit companies or private schools. And I don't think that's what tax taxpayers intended for their dollars to be spent. Linda Ritz says she's asked Tony Bennett to a debate before the election, but so far he has not responded. Election day is November 6th.